How's my pressure? Where are you going? Hey, 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 Doc, aren't you going to take this thing off? Hey, hey, Doc! What, what's the matter with you? I submit that the prosecution has failed to sustain the burden of proof. To find this defendant guilty with the evidence that the district attorney's office has presented would be a travesty. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Mr. Conweiler, where are you going? pretty. Very pretty, but what good are they? I'm not running an art gallery here. I need pictures that jump off the page, grab the reader. Sorry, Parker, they're not for us. Well, sir, if you could just send me out on an assignment, I'm sure I could get you what you want. Look, I appreciate your working your way through college. That's what I did. And if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't even bother with you. I'm sorry, sir. Nothing personal, but I'm a busy man. Well, maybe I can get you some others. Uh, something different. That's what you keep telling me, but I always see this fancy stuff. Do us both a favor. Forget it. JJ? 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 I told you it was something crazy about that bank robbery. Read this. It just came by special messenger. It's going out to every newspaper, radio, and television station in town. Take Peter, turn on television, say, will you? What's all the excitement? Take it easy, Robbie. What's the matter with this guy? Is he crazy? I don't believe a word of it. Somebody's playing a joke. I don't know, J.J. I mean, a lawyer and a doctor teaming up to rob a bank? They certainly didn't need the money, did they? Absolutely not. We interrupt this program for a special yes, news alert. Is. One of the most bizarre crimes in the history of the city now appears to be unfolding. The mayor has received an extortion note in which the lives of ten New Yorkers have been threatened. This is a newspaper story. What are they doing? The writer claims that ten people somewhere in the city have been programmed to destroy themselves at his command. Let me see that again. To prove that he has full control over his victims' minds, the extortionist accepts full responsibility for the bank robbery committed only this morning by two of the city's most respected citizens. Is he, he a terrorist? He that they were acting work? under his orders. What does everybody want? Money. Further details in the letter demand a sum of $50 million to be paid on Friday at noon, the place to be arranged later. News Alert will bring you more details as they become known. We now rejoin the program already in progress. Shut that junk off. I had the run stop so we can replay the front page. Suppose it's a hoax. What do we look like then? What do we look like if we back page it and it's real? What do you think, Peter? Well, well I what's think... the difference what he thinks? I'm just getting an opinion from a man on the street, okay? Well, sir, I don't know very much about mind control. Who does? 
except I do know that they've been doing experiments, and they can force people to do things against their will. Yeah? You're going to have to prove it to me. Oh, come on, J.J., this is a biggie. Now, what about a four column here, all right? Mm, my little cell paper's all right. But write it straight. Quote the mayor, if you get hold of him. Okay. Well, sir, would you like me to go and take a picture of it? Never mind, never mind. We've got enough pictures of the mayor to wallpaper the building. Look, aren't you playing hooky? Thanks for coming in. Now, look, we'll have a picture of the bank here, the two crooks below, and for the lead, how come two respectable citizens pull a stick up? Got it? Okay, what do you want for a sub here? Use a couple of quotes. Here, it'll look like this. Okay. What? You forgot to put your film badge on. Oh. Of course, if you want to live dangerously, that's your business. But I figure if any radiation gets loose in here, we ought to know about it. Well, what's the matter with you, anyway? Sorry, I, I was just thinking about something else. Uh, Dave, do you believe in mind control? I could get very funny about this, but I have a feeling you're serious. Well, didn't you see the paper? No. Why? Some guy says he's going to have 10 people kill themselves unless the city pays him $50 million. Why didn't I think of that? Well, how would you do it? Listen, I've got enough troubles wondering what I'd do if this thing shows up exposed. I mean, I am a growing boy. So you sacrifice yourself to science. Thanks. Yeah. Hi, is that Peter Parker here? Yeah, right over here. Oh, uh, that's me. Hey, is it safe in there? If you already have kids. Hey, wait. Oh, he's just kidding. It's okay. It's all right. This is for you. Oh, thank you. The condenser's for my new transmitter. What are you building in your attic? A space station? Hey, uh, it's CLD. $46.20. Pay the man. Oh, uh, I, I, I don't think I have that much on me. I... You're right. Oh, wait, uh, Dave, let me $30, would you? Thanks for the compliment, but I don't even know where I'm going to eat dinner tonight. How about your aunt's place? Hold it, I'll get you the money. Hey, look, I didn't even have to come into this place. I'm doing you guys a favor. Took guts. Oh, I'll give you a check, all right? Hey, I'm not hanging around for that. Well, it'll only take a moment, sir. Hey, look, my dentist at least puts a lead apron on me. You guys are letting me walk around. Suppose that thing decides to take a shot. What happens to me, huh? I tell you what, you come back later and I'll have the money for you. Are you kidding? I wouldn't come back here if you paid me double. You want this thing, you come down to the warehouse. Why don't you scare him off? I need those condensers. Give me a hand, will you? If I spill this radioactive waste, you won't need anything. Now grab that switch. Must be an easier way to get a PhD. It's up to 400 rads. Something just lit up. I didn't see anything. What's the Geiger counter up to now? 900 rads. All right, hold it right there. A little nervous. One dose of that stuff, and it's goodbye, Charlie.
and get this checked. How much more you got to do? I just have to test a couple of transistor circuits. I'll start shutting down. Captain Barbera, I understand you saw all of this. Oh, uh, yes, sir. I was coming out of the drugstore, and, and this car uh, started following me. So I ran down here to get away, and he came after me. You know the man? No, sir. I never saw him in my life. That's another of life's little mysteries, huh? Get this innocent bystander's name and address. And get these rubbernecks out of here! Where's the money? It wasn't there. Hey! Hey! Kid, come here! Now look, I know you want to be helpful, so maybe you can tell me what happened to the $20,000 that was in that car. I'm sorry, I don't know. Who came there after it hit the wall? I don't know that either, I'm afraid. Don't be. I'll give you police protection, you know what I mean? But I wasn't here. Where were you? The cop says nobody came out of the alley. Oh, well, um, what I mean to say is that I, I, I wasn't looking at the time. Your eyes were closed. 
You couldn't stand all the carnage. Is that a fair assumption on my part? Yes, sir. Monahan, get his name and address. I already did. Can I leave? What are you so nervous about? Well, I have to study for an exam. Okay. Go. Study.
blacklist was a junkie. I saw him, I tell you, he was up on the wall, way up there. Yeah, he's right, officer, I saw him too. Right there, coming down the wall. What's the matter with you people? I saw him. Where is he? Point him out. Right there. You see him? Yeah, I saw him, he was here a minute ago. Somebody was coming down the wall. I couldn't believe it. Yes, it was right, but I'm not the only right one. down the wall. You can have them all for $46. Trouble is, they're not different enough. Oh, this is the guy with the mind control. The fellow who's been writing those ransom notes is the one that's been making all these robberies and accidents happen. A wreck is a wreck is a wreck. That's all you show here. This story needs something different. It's only $46. Well, if you could get me a picture of the Spider-Man, that I'd buy. Who? Spider-Man. At least that's what these drunks call him. They saw someone climbing up and down the walls. Must be something in the water. Everyone's going crazy. Doctor, a lawyer, now a judge turning crook. This sneak thief and all of his buddies saying they saw a man climbing walls like a spider. I think I'll retire. Robbie, come in here with the galleys, please. And you want to work here? You must be crazy, too. Spider-Man. But he's real. There is someone like that. He, he can climb walls, and he is like a spider. I mean it. There is a Spider-Man? Yes, sir. You're sure? Very sure. I suppose you're going to tell me he caught you with his little web. No, sir, but I did see him. You hear that, Robbie? Mr. Parker here saw a Spider-Man. Isn't that wonderful? Are you on drugs? I did see him. What do you look like? Oh, uh, like... Like a spider. How many legs do he have? Well, two, of course. He's a man. You just said he was a spider. Spiders have got lots of legs. No, sir. He, he's like a spider. He can do the things a spider does. You know, um, climb walls and, and spin webs. And he's very, very strong. I can step on a spider. Can I step on him? No, sir. I told you he's not a spider. He's a full-grown man. He's got the strength of a spider, but it's all in proportion to his size. Spiders are very, very strong, you know, so he's thousands of times stronger than you or... or me. You hear all this, Robbie? I mean, do you believe what's going on here? What we thought was a smart kid who had tried to be nice to? Parker, get out of here! All right, Robbie, what have you got? But you've got to believe me, please. I did see him, and... And I can prove it. Well, how, Peter? I took a picture of him. A picture? You have an actual picture? Yes, sir. Well, why didn't you say so? Well, what does he look like? Oh, uh... Well, um, he, uh, he's... Well, what? What does he wear? <laughs> what do you mean, what does he wear? <laughs> Well, you said he climbs up the size of walls, right? Well, then my guess is he's wearing sneakers. Oh, no, 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 uh, nothing like that. No, he, he, he wears a special costume. A costume? Sure. Well, why not? Uh, would you like to go around with people pointing at you all the time? Hey, there goes that Spider-Man, the freak who climbs walls. I mean, why shouldn't he have the same privacy as you or me? All right, all right. He wears a costume. Now go home and get the picture. Okay, Peter? Get the picture. Sure. Why not? Okay, Robbie, let's go. Uh, I thought we'd start with the two-column lead on this story. Peter! Peter, aren't you coming down for dinner? In a few minutes. Oh, well, hurry up. Everything's getting cold. Uh, Peter, did you take your allergy pills? Peter! Aunt May, I'm busy up here. Well, did you take your allergy pills? I took them. Good. I'm going to put the soup on the table now. Did you hear me? Yes, Aunt May, I heard you.
his underwear? Oh, no, sir. That's like what they wear in the gym. It lets him move around more freely. Hey, I like this one. He really is hanging onto that wall, isn't he? How does he do that? I don't know. Looks like a freak to me. Well, he did stop that thief, didn't he? So what's his angle? What's he up to? If you can do what he can, what would you do with it? Join the circus. You sure these are genuine? Oh, come on, JJ. Get a guy a break, will you? He said he just happened to catch this, this Spider-Man in action. And he's always got his camera with him, hasn't he? Look, he's been trying to get $46 out of me for two days. Maybe this is fake. How do I know? Maybe he made the whole thing up. Sure, and then he had his girlfriend sew up a costume, and he went out and learned how to climb straight up a wall. Come on, JJ, let's print these. This is an exclusive. Yes? You told me what? No, I didn't hear you. Say it again. Where? Kent and Carlisle. All right, we'll get a man down there. Well, we've got another one. What? That extortionist is really laying it on. Factory payroll crashed into the wall like all the others. Any identification? No. And if it's like the rest of them, it's liable to turn out to be the governor. Get McNeil down to get some pictures. Oh, McNeil's out on assignment. In fact, uh, there's nobody left. Uh, how about Peter? Peter could do the job. Do you know where Tenth and Carlisle is? Yes, sir. It was on my paper route when I was a kid. And that's what you'll be doing again if you don't bring me some decent pictures. Get it? Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Jefferson. You know, this one is Spider-Man climbing up the wall. That's a great Sunday cover, J.J. Oh, by the way, Mr. Jameson, how many of these would you like? I'll think about it. Get moving! Yes, sir. Spider-Man. What kind of a name is that? Hmm? the money, Monaghan. Where's the 5,000 big ones? There must have been somebody else in the car. Wrong, Monaghan, wrong. It was a lone wolf, but a crazy lone wolf. Look at him, driving right into a brick wall. Can you explain all this to me, please? I don't know why the other three did the same thing. I think you're right, Captain. Right? Right? Right what? Oh, they're crazy. I mean, those were all respectable people, not some junkie hoods. A professor who steals a payroll? Yeah, they don't make crooks like they used to. Where's the woman who turned in the call? Uh, right over here. Surprise! Oh, hello, Captain. I'm taking pictures. Oh, is that what it's for? Would I be unreasonable if I were to say that you're starting to worry me? Well, I guess I can see your point of view. Can you now? I mean, I, I do somehow manage to keep showing up at these things. Uh-huh. Look, um, Captain, my being here is really just a complete coincidence. Now, if you don't mind, I'd really like to take some more pictures. You see, I'm working for a newspaper. Far be it for me to interfere with the First Amendment. Be my guest. Thank you, sir. I'll be seeing you, Parker. He looks delirious. Can't you get him out of here? Well, he's pinned behind the wheel. We can't move him. But we got a record. Well, he's not going to last. Take a look at him. Hey, listen, take it easy, will you? We're doing everything we can. Can you get a blanket? Yeah, sure. I don't know. I think the steering wheel broke off. Uh, Captain Barbera? We can get him out now. Here, I'll give you a no, no, please, please. Just stay away, okay? Thank you. I'll watch it.
station at his door. As soon as the doctor says he's all right, call me. He's the only one not in a coma. The rest are under a doctor's care. Take off. Okay, so tell me what happened. He robbed the payroll, a professor yet. I know it doesn't make any sense, right? Right. He's with the university, isn't he? With the English department. Yeah, I've seen him on campus. Uh, my name is Peter Parker, and... Well, I'll, I'll go with you to the hospital if you want. Wait, it's a mistake. He didn't do it, he couldn't have. Don't you worry about anything. Go straighten it out. Conscious has been taken to the hospital. Request further instructions. I'm afraid you'll have to leave now. Everything's gonna be all right, Dad. You'll see. You don't think I did what they say, do you? How could you? Please.
see it, Captain? That's the Spider-Man, the guy in the paper. you should have gotten, your big hero doing his swan dive with this kleptomaniac dialer. That would have been something. Lucky for you, none of the other papers got it either. All right. Let's have your pictures of Tyler in the car crash. Oh, well, uh, sir, I... Let's have them. Well, I'm afraid there aren't any, sir. No, you can't have your money. And don't bring me any more pictures. Do you, do you think that... Do you think you could possibly lend me $46? I, I can get it back to you. After all you've done for us, that's the least I can do. Come on. My father's not responsible for anything he said. He's had some kind of a, a break there. But, but he talked to you and he recognized you? That's what I don't understand now. He seemed all right. But he's not, though. Well, look how he doesn't even remember what happened. Captain Barbera says he's been identified by the factory paymaster. I'm so frightened, Peter. I don't know what to do. Oh, I know. The whole thing's crazy. I, I just can't believe any of it. You do me a favor. Sure. My dad's been going to this special group. You know, there's all kinds of them. Human awareness, human potential. They have all sorts of names for it. And somebody puts on a white sheet and calls himself a guru. It's not funny. I'm sorry. My dad really swears by his. And the leader of the group is a guy named Byron. Have you ever heard of him? No. But if your father goes to him, maybe he can help. I want to go. Will you go with me? What? Yeah. Now. Please, Peter, I have to talk to Mr. Byron. Sure. I'm nervous. Well, that's the only kind of people they allow in here. Which, which one is Mr. Byron? I don't know. Your life doesn't work, then you have to change it. Excuse me, would you? Good afternoon. We're glad to have you. I'm Edward Byron. Judy Tyler. Professor Tyler's daughter? Oh, yes. I'm Peter Parker. I'm so glad you were able to come. Friends, it's time to begin our meeting. Shall we step inside? Where's the money? What money? Who told you to rob that payroll? I don't know. Well, Professor, you don't have very many answers. I'm afraid you know more about this than I do. Then we're both in trouble. Who's the big mastermind? Who's the screwball who put this idea in your head? I, I don't know. We're back to square one. I don't even know when it was done. And I was saving the easiest question till last. That character in the red and blue union suit? Yes. The one they're calling Spider-Man? Yes. I suppose you never saw him either? No. And how come he shows up out of nowhere and takes you for a waltz seven stories up? I... I know. You never saw him in your life before. I don't blame you for being skeptical, Captain. I want the answer to this even more than you do. It's not very pleasant knowing someone's been able to 
make you lose control of yourself, to make you do whatever he wants? No, I suppose not. And there's a chance, isn't there? A chance I'm one of the ten? You're afraid. You're scared to death of the real world, so you live with little pictures in your minds of what you think life is. You deserve to be the miserable fools you are because you'll never be happy by trying to be happy. Mr. Byron, I don't understand what you mean. How else can you be happy unless you try? Happiness doesn't sit on a shelf waiting for you to come pick it off. You're in love with the idea of happiness. But if some real joy comes along, you're so locked up in yourself you don't even recognize it. Well, I know what would make me happy. A house in the country for my children. That's another one of those stupid dreams. But until you live now, you'll never get a chance to know it. You've lived in your mind so much, you've probably never lived anywhere else. What is he talking about? We'll start our training procedure now. We'll find ways for you to go into new states of consciousness. A chance for you to get some understanding of your real selves. I wish our two new friends could stay. But when you officially join the group, you'll be more than welcome. You're going back, aren't you? Oh, Judy, I couldn't buy any of that stuff. Well, I can. I mean, the way things are going for me now, I can use some help. Well, would you settle for a poverty-stricken grad student? I might. I think I'm ready. Maybe Byron's sessions will help. I can't wait to start the training. I don't know that guy, Byron. I mean, all he, all he wants to do is put people down. He's not interested in help. He's not interested in helping. <coughs> I'm sorry, I, I forgot my allergy pills. Well, a lot of what he said made sense. Well, I'm going. Nobody's forcing you. Well, I know that. I... I just meant that I think he's... Well, Peter, I'm tired. I want to go home. Okay. Sure. I will see you again. Won't I? Sure.
second note has been received by the mayor in the $50 million extortion plot set for Friday noon. The writer again claims responsibility for the wave of holdups in the past 72 hours and that they will continue as proof that he exercises complete mind control over his victims. The note to the mayor states that the 10 people who are to jump to their deaths are now being programmed and demands a statement from City Hall that payment will be made. The bomb of their destruction has been set, he warns. Only you can stop it. Dr. Fenwick, please. This is Peter Parker calling. I'm just fine, sir. How are you? Uh, doctor, are you working on anything unusual at the space lab today? Well, are the computers on the phone lines or are they transmitting? I'm picking up a strange signal here. I don't recognize it, but it must be a sophisticated piece of equipment. It acts like something you'd be using down at the space lab. It's in the microwave range. Are you sure nothing's on? Yes, sir. Well, it's just, it's just that I've never seen anything like this before, sir. Yes, sir, I'm sorry to bother you. Thank you, sir. of you. You must do exactly as I ask. You, Mrs. Elkins, there is something you must do for me, something very important, and you must not fail.
Goodbye, Mrs. Elkins. Goodbye. Oh, Mr. Byron. Yes. I wanted to ask you something. Can't seem to remember. When the time comes, you will. Goodbye. 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 We can't wait any longer. I've programmed them all for the final step. You sure you're not pushing this too fast? The mayor wants more time. Naturally. Sooner or later, they'll find a way to break Tyler down. Well, the police will find the connection in the robberies. If it's not over by Friday, we lose it all.
got a better act than you. Who is he? There's a story about him in the papers. They don't know either. Well, he must think he's tiresome. I'm glad you're amused. I'm not. You think you call the police? What could they find? Now, this one's an original. He'll come back by himself. lady does? No. She's a choir singer. You hear that, Monahan? Yeah. She sings in church on Sunday. Only on Thursday, she knocks over a bank. I won't ask her why. But the hospital says she's critical. No visitors. Hey, the way our luck's been going, what else? Yeah, maybe that psychologist will get something out of Tyler. Did you read his first report? No. Come here. The patient's alpha waves have been resonated. Now, what does that mean? I don't know. Oh, he'll get something out of him, all right. But by the time he does, Mr. Mind Control will be in Shangri-La with his 50 million. Five respectable people suddenly don't go wacko for nothing. <laughs> Keep talking to their families. Anybody who knew them. I want to know everything there is to know. Something's got to connect. You got it, Captain. Oh, uh... What do you want me to do about this uh, Spider-Man? Oh, I'm getting reinforcements for him. Oh, good. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And if we're lucky, maybe Rumpelstiltskin will lend us a hand. What am I going to do about Spider-Man? How do I know? I'm a cop, not an exterminator. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Send that college kid in here. Right away, Captain. Hey, Parker. Captain wants you, huh? Sit down. I understand that you're a friend of Professor Tyler, is that right? Uh, no, sir. He happens to teach at my university. I'm, I'm a graduate student. And I also do some part-time work there. Okay, you do some part-time work. Any explanation for what the professor did? Absolutely not. I guess you're a big part-time worker. Like part-time, you take pictures of uh, Spider-Man. That's your name there, right? Peter Parker? That's me. Like we were discussing, you seem to have a lot to do with this case. Not only do you know a perpetrator, but the first time I saw you, you were in a foot race with one of those robbery cars. Then the next time, you were using your brownie on the professor and his wreck. Could you explain that to me, please? It's just a coincidence. Funny coincidence, wouldn't you say? No, I suppose so. Well, it gets funnier. Now it turns out you're the official photographer for a character who's also involved in this case. A character I'd very much like to question. Well, who's that? How would you like a graduate course in criminal incarceration? Answer the question or you're enrolled. Do you mean the person you'd like to question is Spider-Man? I do. What do you want to talk to him about? Maybe I want to ask him where he buys his webs. Or maybe he can tell me what he was doing on that hospital roof. What's his pipeline? How do I tune in on it? Well, I, I guess there must be a rational explanation. I'd like to hear it. So do me a favor. The next time you take his picture, tell him I want to see it. Would you do that for me, please? Sure. Thank you. Oh, Captain, if there isn't anything else, could I please go? There's something very important I have to do. And I'm trying to figure out why five decent people suddenly go in decent. Do you think that's important, too? Yes, sir. Thank you. Class dismissed. Hello, is Judy there, please? 
Well, do you know where I could reach her? Well, when she comes home, would you give her a message for me, please? Would you tell her that Peter called and I said she is to stay away from Mr. Byron. She's not to go near there until I talk to her. All right? Thank you. Morning. Oh, hi. I was here the other afternoon. Uh, with Miss Tyler? Oh, yes. Professor Tyler's daughter. You read about him, I suppose. Yes. It seems inconceivable, a man of his character. I knew he was troubled, but... I didn't expect to see you again, Mr. Uh, Parker. You weren't exactly overwhelmed by our program, as I recall. To tell you the truth, I was a little bit, um... Confused, but I've been talking to some of the other people and I would very much like to take the program. I'm not sure you'd be suitable, Mr. Parker. You saw a sample of how rough it can become. That doesn't bother me. You're sure now? We don't like to waste our time on someone who's liable to walk out in the middle of the course. I'm sure. All right, then. This is your membership pin. It'll admit you to the next meeting. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment, I have some literature I'd like to give you. placed on your jacket. Touch it. Keep it with you wherever you go. For on Friday, you will need it. On Friday at exactly 12 noon, you will be standing at the tower of the Empire State Building. And when you hear this sound, you will jump from the tower. Crime experts agree that the demands of the extortionist are without parallel. But will the mayor agree to pay? 
It has now been revealed that the $50 million is to be delivered to a seaplane in the middle of New York Harbor. The instructions warn that the 10 victims will not be released from their death sentences until the extortionist has made good his escape. Only 24 hours remain to the deadline. And now for people and places in the news. The Shah of Iran today announced plans for building a new petrochemical complex in Tehran. That man doesn't know what to do with all his money. $200 million. Oh, is that all? Aunt May, did somebody call for me today? A girl, Judy Tyler. Oh, I don't know, darling. Of course, I had to go out for a few minutes. Don't worry, she'll call back. my way back to the garage. Where you want to go to? Hey, man, I don't want to mess with you. Open the door, would you please? I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling so well myself. Excuse me, I'm in a hurry. Look, I'm coming home from a masquerade party. Now, don't get scared. You don't even have pockets in that suit. Well, I'll pay you at my house. Well, yeah? Well, I'm not taking no Spider-Man to that part of town.
only three hours before the deadline, no word has been received as to whether the mayor has approved payment of the $50 million demanded. He can't even pay the garbage As of this moment, police have been unable to find any clues as to the identity of the extortionist. With time fast running out, pressure is mounting on city officials to resolve the situation. Who are the ten people whose minds have been programmed to cause their own destruction? Or is the threat simply one of the great hoaxes of the century? Only time will provide the answer. What time is it? My golden goose, Mr. Mayor. Just make sure you deliver the eggs. Captain Barbera, please. Captain, this is Peter Parker. I know how it was done. He's been using microwave circuits. Yeah, I, I can show you. Uh, the computer just broke down his code. He's had all of his victims wired. Yeah, that's right. They've been wired. They received the signals. That's how he does it. Well, you stay where you are. I'll be right down. I'll show you. I, I, I think we can jam his signal. All right.
disappoint you boys, but the city just ran out of money. Freeze. Okay, okay, you don't have to get sore. We quit. Now, everyone, take it nice and easy. We don't want anyone getting wet. Come on, move along. Very well, Mr. Mayor, it's on your head. Come on, move along, move along, move it. Hey, hey, come on, we're gone. Reverse the microwave, so let's be buddies, all right? zombies. I think you need a little help. If you don't mind, let me make a small suggestion. Why don't you go to the police station and tell Captain Barbera all about it? It's all his fault. We were ordered to do it. All right, take all these monkeys inside. Come on, let's go. Come on. 
Captain Barbera. Congratulations, Captain. Those men would have flown away if you hadn't called their bluff. Well, I'll tell you the truth, uh, I had a little help. That character in the clown suit, uh, he worked out pretty good. That freak. He ought to be locked up, running around like a one-man army. I don't know where he came from, but I sure hope he goes back there. Maybe you're right. People shouldn't interfere with the law. Let the police do that. Exactly. You men deserve all the credit for this job. Well, if that's the way you're going to put it in your paper, how can I stop you? <laughs> Peter! I'm so glad I found you. Are you all right? Never mind about me. What about you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I know you called, but... No, it's okay. I, I know. I know. Hey, Parker, come here. Never mind the socializing. I want to talk to you. Well, I'd like to congratulate you, too, Captain. That was wonderful police work. Ah, never mind the cauliflower. Where were you? First, I get a call from you that your friend, the computer, has solved the case. So I go and call her the perpetrators. Only you don't show up to jam the signal. Now, if it wasn't for our friend in the red and blue suit, I could have blown the whole thing. Where were you? Well, I, 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 I had sort of a short circuit. Yeah? Well, the next time you're gonna end up in jail for giving false information. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, sir, here, I thought you'd like to see these. What are they? Incredible. How come you're the only one who's able to get pictures of him? Simple. I believe.